Thank you for joining my video on changing oil on a Fiat, sorry, Seat, <laughs> my, it's the same as a Volkswagen Up and a City Go from Skoda, same engine, little one litre three cylinder thing, so what I'm going to do is change oil today, so what I always do, this might not be the same as everyone else, I'm sure I'm going to get some complaints about this, but here we go, so I always take the uh, dipstick out and leave the fuel cap, uh, the oil cap off, and that's to release any pressure that um, may build up from draining the oil out. It shouldn't make any difference, but I always do it that way. Um, I'm going to change the oil filter, but I include the air filter, but I include that on a separate video. Right, tools needed are possibly a hammer and a device for taking the oil filter off. I use an old timing chain welded to a socket, which works well for me. And on top of that, you will need going underneath. Oh, sorry. This is the uh, part number, um, obviously not a VW part or a SEA part, but that's the part number I use. Uh, underneath, to show you underneath, we've got uh, an oil filter just here, which we'll got off in a minute, and then we've got 19mm um, or three quarter, depending on which way you want, nut and to do there, and a suitable device, I've got a, a proper oil catching device with a funnel on so you don't spill any oil into the environment. Okay, back again. Oh, there's a new oil filter, obviously. There's the old one. Always just check that it looks similar, but um, you're going to know straight away if it fits or not. So all I do is just grab a bit of oil and go around on the uh, bow-ring seal of the oil filter. Let's put it over there a minute. Right. What I do is just, just clean off around that air filter housing. It's obviously it's straight into the sump on this one. Put that bit there like that. Oh, I'm going to do it that way. People have got a habit of tightening these up so tight that it's just unbelievable. But all my years in doing this, I've never seen an oil filter come off, ever. So that's all you need to do. Now, I've got to find my uh, sump bung. There's a sump bung. You can put, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you can see it there. You can put a new wash on this, but this seems absolutely perfectly fine. There's no reason why I should put some wash on that. Need some wash on that. So just put that in there. Got a little bit tight going in, but there we go. Put the wash out of the way. Right, I'll just tighten that up. So just pause you a minute. Okay, back onto this again. <coughs> I don't want to show you tighten all that up, but the true magic of the. Uh, video there's the bung so what I just do now clean off all of this this just so it looks a bit better it'll dry up anyway but it's always best to do it you don't want to get think going into the environment now top to begin is while you're under the vehicle obviously make sure you've got it properly propped up with an axle stand and jack if you want to and then check your CV joints so you can always tell if they're leaking because or split because you can see oil or grease all over everywhere Obviously the brake hoses and pipes. See if there's anything untoward under here. As you can see, this is spotlessly clean. Just check uh, your poly V belt or serpentine belt, whatever one wants to call them. Yeah, that's all I find. No ridges, no cuts in it, no damage on it at all. Um, this model's got a uh, air conditioning unit on it, nothing leaking out of there. Um, boot over there looks okay. Boot up there looks absolutely perfect and that one as well looks perfect as well so that's it for underneath the vehicle um, just some, some tips here what I do is obviously fill it up this engine takes about uh, three litres of oil but what I do um, when I think I've nearly got to there I check the oil and you can see on the dipstick there it's not even on the bottom mark yet I haven't run the engine so which also means that the oil filter is not full um, what I do is I use a funnel okay it's going there properly 
that's why I can't film it, with a gauze in the bottom there just so it cleans out anything that might be contaminated. Obviously I can't hold the camera, fill it up with oil and all the fun at the same time. So I have to catch you back when I've completed that.